Watch, I just got to get your help on this farm bill. Just got to, partner. I can't have you going over with Charlie Halleck and 30 other Democrats and showing the world that I can't lead nobody. If I can't lead Paul, I can't lead nobody. I know you got a tough time. I know what it is. They told me, Walter told me about the damn Chicago Tribune being in your district. But I'll be in your district more than they will, and I'll have more votes in it. And I'll come when you need me. But I just sure enough got to have your help. I just can't have you going voting with Charlie Halleck and 25 others, 30 Democrats, and beating me when uh, when I, I've got to show them that uh, first place this is in my budget. I got a letter from the budget director. It'll cost us 400 less million this year, 65, and it did 64 if I pass this bill. And anybody can justify it on that economy if no other basis. And I think you can justify it by just saying, I got, I won't give my president one vote and I want him to do something for me, but I've got to, I've got to help him on this, and most of my other boys are, and Holland voted for it. Can't you do that? Uh, Mr. President, I'm, uh, I was trying to get some calls in here to try to see if I couldn't go along and try to help you. I sure want to, you know that. My difficulty has been that I've had, uh, to, my, my position has been voted against me Well, but this one cuts out. This makes them voluntary. This cuts it out. Hell, this, this program s saves the government 400 million in 65 over what it was in 64. And if you kill this bill tomorrow, you'll cost my budget an extra $125 million. And I've got a letter from the budget director that you can put in your file that'll show you that. When you vote for this wheat and cotton bill, you, you will save me a hundred odd million dollars that you wouldn't save if you, if you uh, uh, killed it. Yes. If you vote to kill this bill, you'll vote for 125 more than you would if you vote to pass it. Well, let me send you that letter up there and give me this vote. Uh, Ain't many times that uh, that I need it this bad, but hell, I don't want you off there at 25 or 30 fellows. Now, Holland voted with me, and, and I'm getting most of the delegation. I'm getting every uh, ain't one man my whole Texas delegation that's going to be against me, and that's Lindley Beckworth, and I haven't talked to him yet. Yes, sir. Mr. President, may I do this? May I make a couple of calls? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But please stay with me. Stay with me now. I ain't going to call you any more this year. I just want this one thing, but I want this, and uh, I'll help you. Whatever it is, I'll swim upstream for you. Well, I appreciate that, Mr. Mayor. I appreciate your calling, and I'll uh, touch base with you uh, tomorrow. Sir. Please do that in the morning, because I've got to get these votes together. I can't let Charlie Halleck. He's making it a policy issue, and all his men are voting. Yes. And I'll it, touch base with you then in the morning. Mr. All right, Paul. All right. Thank you. Good night, sir.